You wake with a start, your heart pounding in your chest. The remnants of a vivid dream cling to the edges of your mind like wisps of smoke that refuse to dissipate. A strange and wonderful landscape fades as you try to grasp its fleeting images, each detail slipping through your fingers like grains of sand. A sense of wonder washes over you, mingled with a touch of frustration at the elusiveness of the dream. What did it all mean? The meaning of a dream symbol can vary greatly depending on the individual and their unique life experiences. Dream interpretation was a specialized practice in ancient Egypt, often conducted by priests or oracles who had the training to decode the messages believed to be sent by the gods. Each god had specific associations with dreams, and the god Bees, for example, was regarded as the protector against nightmares. The interpretations were often based on puns and wordplay, reflecting the Egyptians' love for language. For instance, dreaming of eating a donkey was interpreted as a sign of good luck due to the phonetic similarities between the words donkey and great in their language. Today we understand dreams as the brain's way of processing emotions, experiences and thoughts from waking life. The quest to understand dreams is not new. Since the dawn of civilization, humans have been fascinated by the mysterious world of dreams, seeking to decode their meanings and messages. Dream incubation was a widespread practice across ancient Near Eastern civilizations. People would visit temples, offer sacrifices and follow rituals to induce prophetic dreams from the gods. They would then sleep in the temple with the actual dreaming sometimes done by an oracle or prophet who would interpret the dreams. In the ancient Near East, dreams were regarded as messages from the divine. They were seen as a direct line of communication with gods and spirits offering guidance and warnings. The ancient Egyptians believed dreams existed between the land of the living and the world of deities and spirits. Some dreams were straightforward like when the Sphinx told Thutmose Thor in a dream to clear away the sand covering it in exchange for ruling as pharaoh. Other dreams required professional interpretation and the Egyptians were meticulous about recording their dreams and meanings. They believed dreaming of the moon was good while dreaming of seeing oneself in a mirror foretold finding a new spouse. The Old Testament is replete with stories of prophetic dreams. These dreams were considered divine revelations guiding the actions of key biblical figures. Jacob's ladder, Joseph's dreams of famine, and Pharaoh's dream of seven fat and lean cows are just a few examples. These stories highlight the importance of dreams in shaping the course of history and religious beliefs. Native American traditions viewed dreams as sacred. They believed that dreams were a bridge to the spiritual realm, offering insights and guidance from the spirit world. They saw them as a means of connecting with the spirit world and receiving guidance from ancestors. Dream catchers, for instance, were used to filter out bad dreams and allow only good ones to pass through. From the Mesopotamians to the Greeks, the Romans, the Indians and the Chinese, dreams have held a place of significance in the human psyche. Each culture developed its own interpretations and rituals surrounding dreams reflecting their unique beliefs and values. Whether seen as divine messages, prophetic visions or spiritual connections, dreams have always been a window into the human soul. Certain dream symbols appear repeatedly across cultures and time periods. These symbols have been documented in ancient manuscripts, scrolls and parchments, showing their significance throughout human history. These common themes suggest a shared human experience of dreaming. Regardless of age, background or culture, people often report similar dream motifs indicating a universal language of the subconscious mind. Flying, for example, is often associated with a sense of freedom, liberation and transcendence. This dream can evoke feelings of exhilaration and empowerment, as if one is breaking free from the limitations of the physical world. It can represent a desire to break free from constraints or soar above life's challenges. The act of flying in a dream may symbolize overcoming obstacles, achieving goals, or reaching new heights in personal or professional life. Water, in its many forms, is a potent dream symbol. It can appear as a serene lake, a calm ocean, or even a stormy sea, each form carrying its own unique meaning and emotional resonance. Oceans and vast bodies of water often symbolize the unconscious mind. Diving into these waters in a dream can represent a journey into the depths of one's psyche. Exploring hidden thoughts and emotions, they represent the vast and unexplored depths within us. Meditative or contemplative scenes in dreams involving water can indicate a need for introspection and self-discovery. Calm waters suggest peace and tranquility, while turbulent waters reflect emotional turmoil or uncertainty. The state of the water in a dream can provide insight into one's current emotional state or unresolved issues. Losing teeth is another common dream symbol. This unsettling dream often leaves a lasting impression due to its vivid and sometimes distressing nature. It is often interpreted as a representation of loss, vulnerability or a fear of aging. Dreams of losing teeth can reflect concerns about appearance, self-image or the inevitable passage of time, highlighting our anxieties about change and mortality. In many ancient cultures, dreams weren't just personal matters. They held significant political weight. Rulers and leaders often consulted with dream interpreters. 
They sought guidance for important decisions and military campaigns. Dreams could influence the course of history. In ancient Egypt, dreams were considered vital communications from the gods. Pharaohs and officials often consulted dream interpreters, typically priests, to decipher their dreams. A notable example is the biblical story of Pharaoh's dreams, which Joseph interpreted to predict seven years of abundance followed by seven years of famine. This interpretation not only saved Egypt from disaster, but also elevated Joseph's status to that of a high-ranking official, demonstrating how dream interpretation could directly impact governance and policy decisions. In Greece, no significant political decision was made without consulting the oracle at Delphi. The Pythia, the priestess of Apollo, would interpret dreams and provide prophecies that influenced leaders' actions. For instance, before battles, generals would seek guidance from oracles, interpreting dreams as signs of favor or disfavor from the gods. This practice underscored the belief that dreams held prophetic power, shaping military strategies and political alliances. Roman leaders also placed great importance on dreams. Cicero and other prominent figures documented instances where dreams influenced political decisions. For example, Julius Caesar reportedly had a dream warning him of his assassination, which he interpreted as a sign to be cautious. The Romans believed that dreams could provide insights into future events, and thus dream interpretation was often integrated into their political decision-making processes. In Mesopotamia, dream interpretation was an established profession, with dream interpreters advising kings and officials. Dreams were recorded on clay tablets, and specific symbols were associated with particular meanings. Rulers would consult these interpretations to make decisions about wars, treaties, and other state matters, reflecting the belief that dreams could reveal the will of the gods and guide political actions. The psychoanalytic lens Freud, Jung, and the modern perspective. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the field of psychology emerged. It brought with it new perspectives on dream interpretation. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, revolutionized the way we think about dreams. He believed that dreams were the royal road to the unconscious. He argued that they revealed our deepest desires, fears, and repressed emotions. Carl Jung, a contemporary of Freud, expanded on these ideas. He introduced the concept of the collective unconscious. Jung believed that certain symbols and archetypes are shared by all humans. He argued that these archetypes manifest themselves in our dreams. The interpretation of dreams has transitioned from a mystical and culturally significant practice in ancient societies to a more psychological and scientific understanding in modern times. While ancient interpretations were often tied to divine messages and omens, contemporary psychology views dreams as reflections of the unconscious mind, serving important functions in emotional regulation and self-discovery. This evolution highlights the ongoing fascination with dreams and their complex role in human experience. Today, scientists continue to explore the mysteries of dreams. Advances in neuroscience and sleep research have shed new light on the biological processes underlying dreaming. While we may not have all the answers, we now know that dreams occur during REM sleep. This is the stage of sleep when brain activity is most similar to wakefulness. Studies have shown that dreams play a role in memory consolidation, emotional regulation, and creativity. While the scientific community continues to debate the exact purpose and function of dreams, there is no doubt that they offer valuable insights into the workings of the human mind. Lucid dreaming is a unique state where the dreamer becomes aware that they are dreaming while still in the dream. This phenomenon allows for an incredible level of self-awareness and the potential to control various aspects of the dream, making it a fascinating topic for both dream enthusiasts and scientists alike. But how does lucid dreaming differ from regular dreaming? Let's explore these key distinctions. Did you know that in a lucid dream, the dreamer is aware that they are dreaming. This self-awareness allows them to recognize that the events unfolding are not real, which can lead to a heightened sense of consciousness during the experience. In contrast, during regular dreaming, individuals typically do not have this awareness. They experience the dream as if it were reality, without recognizing that they are in a dream state. This lack of awareness often leads to confusion upon waking, as the dream may feel vivid and real while it is occurring. Many lucid dreamers report being able to exert some level of control over their dreams. 
This can include manipulating the dream environment, interacting with dream characters, or directing the narrative of the dream. However, the degree of control can vary significantly among individuals. In contrast, in regular dreams, individuals usually have no control over the dream's content or direction. They passively experience the unfolding events. Research suggests that during lucid dreaming, there is increased activity in the prefrontal cortex, a part of the brain associated with higher cognitive functions such as self-awareness and decision-making. This activity is comparable to that of waking consciousness, which contributes to the dreamer's ability to recognize their dream state. Lucid dreams typically occur during rapid eye movement, REM sleep, which is the stage of sleep where most vivid dreaming happens. Some studies indicate that lucid dreams can also happen just outside of REM sleep. Dreams are not meant to be kept in isolation. Sharing our dreams with others can enrich our understanding and deepen our connections. Just as ancient cultures gathered to interpret dreams collectively, we can benefit from discussing our dreams with friends, family or therapists. By sharing our dreams, we create a space for empathy, understanding and mutual support. We may find that our dreams resonate with the experiences of others revealing shared human experiences and anxieties. I'd love to hear about your own dream symbol experiences. Share them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Mythomaniac for more intriguing videos on dream interpretation, myths and legends. Who knows, your dream symbols could hold the key to unlocking a whole new world of self-discovery.